from uh, that card, a concept card that I will never see production, we're going to to a card that is going to be uh, introduced in the United States, and it's a Mercedes-Benz B-Class electric drive. And for that, we talked to John Eck, Heck, uh, head of uh, electric vehicle testing for Mercedes-Benz, uh, driving uh, this uh, car. John, thank you very much for the opportunity to test drive, uh, well, not test drive, be a passenger, <laughs> and the new, uh, what is it, V-Electric? Uh, the Mercedes-Benz B-Class electric drive. B-Class electric drive. Uh, a car that is coming to market next year, I understand, uh, but uh, we get the rare opportunity to, try to drive with someone who is testing the car, so thank you for that. You're very welcome. So what can you tell us about this car? It's, uh, it's an electric car that is coming from Mercedes-Benz, but uh, tell us about the, 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 the characteristics of it, please. Well, what we did is um, take the original Mercedes B-Class, which so far has only been available in Europe, um, and put an electric drivetrain and a, a battery inside. The, the platform of the B-Class actually enables us to do that uh, with a uh, step in the underbody where we can uh, accommodate for the battery. Um, which then as a package gives us a, a vehicle with about 115 miles of range, um, fully electric, um, 130 kilowatts or 174 horsepower, um, 250 uh, foot-pound of torque, um, top speed of 100 miles, which is limited uh, for consumption reasons, and an acceleration of uh, 0 to 60 miles in 7.9 seconds. And is there any uh, new technology in, in terms of the, the back battery park, the charging process and all that? Um, well, the uh, drivetrain and as well as the battery, um, we uh, get supplied from Tesla. So the uh, technology is basically known from other electric vehicles. However, it has been adjusted to um, fit into this car, uh, especially the battery package has been designed uh, especially for this car by Tesla. Yeah. And uh, you were, during the drive, you were showing us some different modes of uh, regenerating the battery. Can you talk right. about that? Um, so there's a, there's a default mode of uh, regenerative braking uh, when you start off the car. Uh, but then the uh, shift paddles on the steering wheel allow you to uh, sh change into different uh, regen modes, uh, varying from uh, free coasting uh, all the way to full regen uh, just when you lift your foot off the pedal and that enables the driver to really adjust the car to his personal driving style. Um, some like more um, or higher um, regeneration energy, uh, stronger braking. Uh, others like uh, the car more coasting and you can adjust that. Yeah, so we can say that there's a learning curve to, to be done while, while you get to use this car? Um, from my belief, there's a learning curve for electric vehicle driving in general. Um, you can step into this car and you feel right at home if you're familiar with Mercedes. Um, you find all the controls in, in the typical spots. So you can step into the car, drive off immediately without any learning time, and feel right at home. However, um, driving electric cars uh, will probably change your driving style. Um, and over the time of probably a couple of days, a couple of weeks, you adjust to electric vehicle driving and you learn while you go along. And uh, it's, uh, I guess at a point it will be like also like a challenge for people to try to extract more of the battery, yeah, right? Exactly. We're, we're trying to, to help with that. We've got uh, an instrument cluster uh, um, designed for this vehicle with a power meter that shows you how much energy you're just pulling out of the battery or how much you're regenerating uh, under braking or under deceleration. And that can have a very strong effect on the driving style um, because um, once you get into the challenge, um, you, you start looking at that dial and trying to keep it close to zero or uh, even below zero in, in regen mode as much as you can. Yeah, okay. So, and, and you were saying that uh, you've been testing this car for how long, like more than a million miles already? Well, um, what you drove today is one of our endurance testing vehicles uh, and throughout the entire prototype fleet. Um, yeah, we, acc we accumulate um, more than a million miles um, during the development phase to make sure that um, once the car gets into customers' hands, it's really ready and, and everything has been tested thoroughly. Is that amount of testing uh, similar to other models like regular gas models or diesel? Well, um, it, uh, it is similar. However, the uh, electric car testing is less dependent on, on mileage. Uh, there's uh, also very strong emphasis on functional testing. And since uh, electric cars in general have, have fewer moving parts than uh, vehicles with combustion engines, 
we put a strong emphasis on making sure that the software is right, that all the functions of the vehicles are working right, and we adjust the test testing process accordingly. Yeah. So you were talking before about the interior of the car, and uh, yeah, the cluster, the instruments, the radio, the, the navigation, and all that. The difference is a little bit in the instrument cluster. Um, pretty much. The, uh, the dials in the instrument cluster have been adjusted for electric car. I talked about the power meter. There's also a, uh, what we call an e-cell instrument that gives you information about the power availability. Um, you know electric cars are somewhat uh, temperature de dependent. Um, so for instance, in, in very cold conditions when your battery is um, way below freezing, um, the power might decrease and that instrument cluster will show you that. Um, or if you're driving your car towards uh, empty, then we will reduce power and again show that on that dial. Yeah. So the B-Class Electric is coming into market in the States uh, next year when? And uh, it's not everywhere that to begin with, right? Um, we will introduce it in the U.S. in the uh, so-called uh, ZEF states first. Uh, that's going to be mid-summer of 2014. And then subsequently rolled out over the uh, remaining states into all 50 states. And even though we are still uh, more than half a year away from that, can we talk about pricing already? Or um, Well, I can't. Um, not at this point, sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the unique experience of uh, driving with you during the testing of the new B-Class Electric. You're very welcome. Thank you.